Hey y'all, so I'm going to be doing my nails today and to save time, I have already applied my tips and I've already applied my nail beds for French. I didn't wanna bore you guys with that. So that is what I've already done. I'm gonna be doing a very colorful set. <laughs> I've been loving these types of designs here lately. So I wanted to put some on my own nails. So here we go. Now to start off, like I said, I've already applied my French and then I also have clear on these two. Now this is just a thin layer on the pinky, but here I built it up just a little bit and I might even go in and add a little bit more clear because I'm doing tie dye and I'm going to be doing that with gel polish. So in order to prevent um, shadowing I'm going to kind of build up a base first and then I'll apply my gel on top of that and then I'm gonna cap it with clear acrylic now the reason why I am doing that is because let me pull out the polishes I'm going to be using now the reason why I'm going to be doing that capping the gel polish is because when you're doing a design like this with a lot of gel it is bound to get bumpy and I want to prevent that so I'm going to cap it with clear so that way I have the opportunity to really smooth it out and I really want that kind of encased look from the encapsulation so that's what I'm going to be doing so here are the polishes I'm going to be using Madame Glam Presto this is a Melody Susie and then this one is just one I got from my local nail supply store it's a white and then a orange and I'm also going to be using another orange also from Madame Glam so actually I'm going to get my base down first because on one of these French, I'm going to do half uh, checkered pattern and half tie dye. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my white first. And y'all, do y'all notice how this one is kind of bent? <laughs> I started these nails first thing in the morning when I came to work. And I was able to do one hand, get this hand done, and then I was able to apply the tips and apply my French. And I thought, oh, it'll be okay, you know, as I work, um, if I have some acrylic on there, it'll be all right. But I ended up bending that one. So, and I think this one bent too, but it's okay. Once I apply my acrylic and get it all into shape, it'll be all right. So I'm gonna come in with my white. And I'm gonna kind of overlap on the nail bed. So I'm not worried about being precise with this at all. Cause I'm gonna come in and file it. So I'm just pressing it up against that nail bed. And then I'm also making sure that I have my sides free of product. And now I'm walking it up the tip. So this is gonna be my checkered side. I'm gonna make sure I fill in any gaps. So definitely always check these little sides because you can be missing a spot there. So I'm just gonna fill that in. So I'm just going to build this up. And when I say shadowing, do you ever, well, if you've ever encapsulated gel or if you've done foil and you've encapsulated that, when you apply it, it's so thin on the tip. So when you come in with a lot of acrylic, you can really see like the layer of clear and then the layer of whatever design you put in. So just to kind of even it out, I'm going to strengthen my bottom layer and kind of make it thick. Not too thick, but thick enough. So I'll go ahead and apply my color to this middle finger. And I'm using model ones. Oh, it doesn't have a number on it, but it's their light blue color. And like I've said before with model ones, this one really takes a long time to set up for me. 
So I really dried that bead out and then I reversed my brush and then I just wiped it back into the nail bed. And that is just pushing it in to that nail bed. Now I'm gonna walk it back. Taking my time, cause like I said, it's taking its time to set up. So I don't wanna rush it. Uh, powder is more moldable when it is semi dry. So that's when I really like to move my product when it's at that point. So I'll focus on the sides and then barely start walking it down. And I'll even come in and clean up this back area because I'm still going to file it, but I want to make sure that it's not a whole lot on that nail bed because if you put a lot of product back here on your nail bed, when you come in to file it off, you're going to be filing eventually into that nail bed. So you wanna avoid that. So I'm just gonna wipe some of that away, push it up into the tip. I'm gonna look at it from this point of view. I'm gonna make sure that I pat the product in. You don't wanna leave it bulky here on the sides. So I'm taking my brush and I'm patting it in. And anytime that I pat product in, I smooth it out on top. So now I'm smoothing it out. Once I have it in place, then that's when you smooth. So now I'm gonna just cut off all that excess. There it goes. I'm gonna flip it over, make sure that I don't have a lot of built up back there. Okay, I'm gonna do an ombre on the pinky and I'm using Glam and Glitz Carpe Diem. This is such a beautiful color and it glows in the dark. I'm pretty sure, yes, it glows in the dark. So I love this color. I'm gonna have to repurchase it because I am almost out. So I'm going to be doing a vertical ombre. So I'm going to do one side this color and then one side another color. So I'm just going to place it and I'm just going to get that color in place. I'm not worried about blending it at this point. And really, it does not have to be perfect because I'm going to be putting a design on top of this. So. If I don't get it just right, it's okay. I always try to keep that in mind when I'm doing a design. Try not to overwork myself because if I go in and I try to make this just as perfect as can be, I'm just really wasting time when all I'm going to do is cover it up. So I have that color in place. I'm gonna turn it around, make sure that I blend it out Make sure my sides is clean. And I'm gonna come in with my next color. This one is also from Model Ones. It's their orange. It's like a light orange, really pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing. Place it and then just walk it down. And these Model One colors are not like blendable colors, but you can absolutely still do it. So just going to try to get it in place and then I'll start worrying about blending the two together. So, and as I'm applying this color, I'm going to make sure that I wipe over here so my other color stays vibrant. I don't wanna mask it with this color. So you wanna keep the two separated. That's how you're going to get a good blend. Now I'm just really going to go over them and try to be fast about it because I want to, to really blend them together. I guess I'll go in and do also my thumb. This one I'm using Valentino in 108. I'm gonna do the same thing. Take my brush, 
put it in reverse set it right there on the nail bed and then just press down and bring my brush back clean off my brush and then I'm going to start walking that product on those sides okay now I'm going to start patting that product down Gonna kind of clean up, especially with a dark pigmented color like this, you don't wanna get to where you have too much on your nail bed, cause you'll be filing into that nail bed and it'll be a mess. And the tips I'm using y'all are the ones from Amazon, the stiletto tips that I always use. And then this nail bed color is a mix pretty much that I just whipped up real quick. It started with um, not polished light sand and I actually put a little bit of this pink color in there. And then I'm, I'm sure it had another nude color in there but it was just in a nameless bottle so you know I don't know <laughs> pretty much but it's cute. So I added another bead at the tip. I blended it back. So it blended in with my first bead and now I'm walking it up the tip. So I'm gonna fill this in. And do you see this little tip that's hanging off? I'm not gonna put product on there because when I come in and file it, I'll file that off. So I'm gonna really clean off my brush, get that pink acrylic out of there. And I'm gonna come in with my nude color and do my little ombre. And that might be too big, but we'll work with it. So I'm gonna start right there. Tuck it in, flatten out the back area. And I'm gonna start bringing, walking it down. And when I walk it down, I'm using the body of the brush to flatten it. Then when I get right here, I'm gonna start blending it down. Come in with my cuticle bead and I only need a little. So I'm gonna apply that. And stroke it down immediately. Smooth it out. Now I'm going to come in, clean up. You want to make sure that you clean up any mistakes really quickly because you don't want it to set in that spot. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up my color. I'm going to start with the Madam Glam Kiss on the Cheek. Add just a little bit. Oh, that wasn't a little bit, but then I'm gonna add some white. And then I'm gonna add this other orange. I'm just gonna mix until I get the desired color that I'm looking for. And I'm looking for like a pastel orange, but bright. <laughs> So that looks pretty good, first try. Yeah, I can dig it. Okay, so I have that done. Now I'm gonna open up all of my polishes, get them ready, because this is going to go fast. Once you set your polishes down, you wanna be able to do your design, get it going, and then get it cured, because of course gel polish, gel polish spreads. So you want to have everything ready. I'm putting them in the order to which I'm going to use them. So that'll help you kind of stay in sync to where you won't be just doing anything. I want to keep it consistent. So I'm going to start 
with this one and this one is going to be a full tie dye. So I'm gonna start with my orange. I'm gonna start at the back and apply that. Try to get as close to the cuticle as I can, but of course not trying to flood it. And if you do, it's okay. You can go in after and clean it up. So I'm not applying a lot, just a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with my yellow. Just gonna make horizontal stripes. Making sure that I extend it from this side to this side. Okay, so now that I have it done, I'm gonna come in quickly with my striping brush and I'm gonna start at one end and I'm lightly pressing my brush just on the surface of the polish and I'm going up into all of those colors, uh-oh. And then I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna come the opposite way. Okay, now I'm gonna take this time and I'm gonna clean around that cuticle area. And I might come in and just add a little bit of pink here at the bottom because that orange is kinda taken over. Okay, now I'm gonna freeze it. But you wanna be quick because that polish will spread on you. Okay, I let that cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side of this French. So I'm going to start with my orange and of course I'm using less product, but I'm really going to, I am going to kind of try to build this polish up though because once I get done with all of this, I will go in and foul all of this right here. So I wanna make sure that I have enough and I have it built up to this nail bed. So I'm just gonna go in and start applying those colors. And you kinda wanna overlap your white. Okay, come in with my striping brush. I'm gonna start at the outer edge and go up. Wipe off my brush, come down. Okay, come up. Now I'm gonna come with my detailer brush and start cleaning out that gel polish. Really get that out your cuticle area. And I can even clean it up right here so it won't be so bad when I come in and foul. Okay, and I'm gonna freeze that.
Okay, so now that I have everything done, the only thing left to do is cap. Now, there's no difference in capping this gel nail. It's just like any other um, acrylic design you have. Only thing I can say that it, it's just slippery. It's a little bit more slippery, so you gotta watch for that. But other than that, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to cap the rest and then I'm going to file them into shape and then I'll come back to you guys for the design. Okay, y'all, I finally got these nails into shape. I got them filed, buffed, and they're ready for design. So I'm gonna start off by doing some stamping. So I'm going to do a checkered pattern, but instead of just the black checkered pattern, I'm gonna do a color. And these are the two colors I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put it right there on that white. Okay, and for my thumb, I'm going to be doing a cow print and I'm going to do this in a lighter pink. So I don't have a lighter pink gel polish. I don't know why. <laughs> I have all of these gel polishes and do not have a lighter pink. So I'm just gonna mix it. So I'm gonna take a dotting tool and just start creating my little pattern. Okay, so moving right on for the middle finger, for my light blue, I'm going to do um, a blossom nail. So I'm gonna use my blossom gel and I'm gonna go over it with a dark blue. Now, this blossom gel that I got, I got it a while ago, y'all, from AliExpress, and it works just as good. I mean, I haven't used another kind to compare it, but I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. So if you see this on AliExpress, grab you a bunch of them. So with this, I'm going to apply a very thin layer. I notice for me, like if I apply a lot, it uh, the spread will happen too fast and it'll end up too thick. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start at the tip and just polish it like I'm polishing a thin top coat. So I'm going to use a striping brush to get this effect. And I'm gonna just start in the center. And for my blue, I'm coming in a little bit thicker than the top coat. And I'm gonna give it a minute just to kind of spread, do its thing, and then when it spreads to how I like it, I'll uh, cure it. Okay, so for my tie dye, I'm going to just be adding these little yin yang stickers. So. Okay. 
But for my pinky, I'm going to do zebra print. And to do that, I'm going to use my airbrush machine. So I'm just gonna take my little stencil. So I'm gonna take my machine, take my air gel. And I also got this from Nail Lab USA. I had a few drops. Turn that down so it won't spray out so much. A little bit more. That's better. Okay. So I'm going to try and stay on that paper towel and just start spraying. Okay, let's see what we got. Perfect. Love it. Isn't that cute? Ooh, honey, let me cure it. Okay, so now I'm gonna start capping. So for the, the stickers, I'm going to apply a gel base. And then for these, I'll just go in with my regular top coat, but I will be applying that twice. Okay, I got them done. This style might not be for everyone, like I said, because it's so many different patterns, but I absolutely love them, y'all. Let me know if you guys also love them, and don't forget, follow me on Instagram, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see y'all in another video. Bye!